Quickly before we get into the Murata news, if you are interested in a YouTube podcast, check out my previous video today where I've started a, pro a, a podcast Sorry, with uh, Drummer Austin, another YouTuber, and we're talking about the state of YouTube. So if you're interested in that, any support on that video would be much appreciated. Let's get into the video though, and the confirmation that Murata is a blue. So Alvaro Murata to Chelsea is a done deal five year deal at that he's going to wear the number nine shirt which has previously been worn uh by uh Radamel Falcao he vacated it at the end of the previous not last season season before that so can he stop the curse of the number nines we'll have to wait and see but he signs on a five-year deal from Real Madrid for a fee of 58 million pounds plus add-ons I think that's a steal in this market I really really do um you know, you look at some of what the other players are going for, you know, top strikers, etc. Um, and to get Alvaro Morada for that price is something very, very special. Um, look, I, I've, I've said my piece on him before. I don't necessarily think he's, he's, he's a world beater. I don't think he's the complete player yet, but I think he could become the complete player. Um, and it'll be interesting to see. One thing I do like about him is his fantastic... Uh, ability to link up play and I think Hazard will probably have his best goal scoring season this year um, with Morata playing with him uh, so I think that's massively important he's very very good on the ball very good at dribbling fantastic headers as well fantastic at heading um, and if you watch some of his goals he scored for Real Madrid that is an area where he looks really really good and Costa was notor notoriously poor in two areas link up and, and heading and I think Morata is fantastic in both areas the question is is Morata a 20 plus 25 goal a season striker I don't know but we'll we'll have to wait and see uh, I think he could be if I'm honest um, I think he has the potential to be that player and I think Conte will get the best out of him it is clear this was Conte's first choice the club wanted Lukaku Conte wanted Morata Conte signs a new contract the day later we're, we're closing in a deal for Alvaro Morata that is by no means uh, a coincidence. It looks like Mourinho has come out today and kind of said, well, Morata was our first choice too, but we've got Lukaku and we're happy with him. Um, who would I have rathered? If you look at the price, you know, look, I, I don't even want to debate. I don't even want to entertain that question. I'll take Morata. We've got Morata. He's a Chelsea player and, uh, you know, we've got to get behind him. And I think, I think he'll do very, very well. One thing he is very good at is he's a big game player um he you know he, he he is a big game player and i think that's something we really need um he's scored against many many top clubs already in his career and i think the premier league is a perfect place for him to hopefully excel he hasn't really had a full season uh of playing he should get that for chelsea and hopefully he will prove to be a fantastic signing he has divided people it has to be said but i think he's a good signing it is our fourth signing of the summer Fifth, if you well, I mean, fourth kind of first team signing. Willie Cabrera was the first on a free. We then got Anthony Rudiger for 34 million. Then it was Bakayoko for 40, and now it's Alvaro Morata for 58 million. We just on, we just keep going up, and it is a record transfer fee for Chelsea. That is a club record fee. Uh, we are breaking our club record, and of course, the man who held that before, Fernando Torres, who also wore the number nine shirt. So. Is Morata going to be another num, another one of those cursed number nines? Let's hope not. But he is a blue, as the Chelsea website says. To confirm, Alvaro Morata signs for Chelsea on a five-year deal. And I have to say, I was not too happy about it before. But I think a lot of the reason why I was quite negative about um, Alvaro Morata was probably because I wanted Belletti and Abemiang a little bit more. Abemiang just because I... If I'm being honest... When I logically think about it, I don't know why I wanted a Bemiang more than I wanted Morata. But there you go. Belletti, I do like Belletti. Um, and that's probably why I was a little bit harsher on Morata than I, than I should be. He should come uh, and link up with the squad for uh, when we go to Singapore. So he won't he won't play in the Arsenal preseason. He won't play in that, but he should be able to link up for that. And he should be available for the community shield against Arsenal. I have said if he scores in preseason at all, just one goal, I will change my at. On Twitter to Magical Morata. What a fucking name. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you have enjoyed it, please leave a like. Leave your thoughts down in the comments below on the signing of Alvaro Morata. Lukaku get uh, United get Lukaku. And we get Morata. It is going to be 
a fun, fun game. Bonfire night when we play Manchester United. It's going to be good. Thanks for watching. I can't wait to see him playing a Chelsea shirt. But to conclude, Morata signed for Chelsea on a five-year deal for a fee of £58 million pounds plus add-ons. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. So I've got some pretty big Chelsea transfer news for you guys to bring to you. And it looks as if we are closing in on the transfer of Alvaro Morata from Real Madrid for a fee thought to be in the region of £75 million. Pounds. Now, uh, there are various there's widespread reports that the deal has been agreed. Um, and even Demarzio, I can't say the fucking, I was calling Demarco, that's not the name. Uh, is claiming that the Morata to Chelsea deal is done. Um, however, we understand that there are not, the medical has not been done yet. Uh, it, that's from what I understand. That at the moment, no medical. Um, but the deal should go through very, very quickly. Alvaro Morata already apparently has agreed personal terms. So is this the Diego Costa replacement? Who knows? I will, of course, bring you when it is a done deal, a complete deal in regards to when Chelsea announced the transfer and give you a little bit more of my thoughts when it is officially done, if it does get officially done. Just another line to bring you. We were interested in Danilo. <laughs> Some people even saying that that deal was done. It looks like Manchester City have now agreed a fee and that we aren't going to, gonna, you know, rise our, our bid. We're not going to meet uh, Real Madrid's evaluation. And Danilo is going to go from the Real Madrid bench to the Manchester City bench. What a absolutely ambitious player Danilo is. So we have to move on from him, but it looks like we're getting Morata. I'm not a massive fan of Alvaro Morata. He hasn't really played a full season. You know, let's be honest here, his first full season in a top league where he plays regularly will be this season. How many goals is he going to get? I don't know. He doesn't usually score. You know, in two of the last three seasons in the league, he hasn't scored more than 10 goals. You could argue, yes, well, he doesn't play that much. And that is a possible thing. Uh, and that may be a possible reason. I mean, his goals to game ratio is very, very good. He's very, he has a very, he had a very good Champions League campaign with Juventus, not last season, this season before. He has pedigree. He's liked world, you know, around the world. It, you know, Manchester United were interested. Juventus were interested, obviously, in trying to keep him when he went back to Real Madrid. So he has pedigree. The question is, is he going to be worth the £75 million? No, I don't think so. I think we're massively overpaying, but there we go. I mean, Lukaku was, what, nearly £100 million. Murata, 75 I suppose maybe it's not a bad deal. We'll have to wait and see. This, in my opinion, was probably Conte's first choice uh, striker, if I'm honest. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, you're just saying that because Lukaku. But there was a lot of rumours about Morata and Conte. They've always got on. I don't know. They work together at Juventus. It's going to be interesting. One thing I do like about Morata is he is kind of like a Diego Costa player. And he's very, very good link-up wise. So even if he doesn't score loads of goals, he's going to set them up in theory as well. It's going to be interesting to see. I'm not, look, I'm not happy about the transfer. I'm gutted. I wanted a Bemiang. I, I wanted Belletti. I wanted Lukaku before, but, you know, I'm going to get behind Morata. I'm going to, you know, give him a chance and hopefully he proves me wrong. And he, he, he has a great season and does fantastically for us. Look, on his day, he looks fantastic. He just hasn't, at the moment, has been a bench warmer. And when you can't take Benzema's place, that kind of worries me a little bit. He has got a very, very good minutes to goal ratio. It has to be said, very, very good. Um, and it's going to be interesting to see. Chelsea fans split on this. Some saying it's a fantastic deal. You know, this is great. Others saying this is bad. One thing I think we should all be able to agree on. Well, maybe not. But I think this is a step down from Diego Costa. That said, Morata's potential is a lot higher <clears throat> than what Diego Costa's is. Is this going to be our last striker that we bring in this window? I doubt it. Don't be surprised if we make a move for Lorente later on in the window and have a three-man strike force in regards to Michi Bashwai, uh, Murata, and then Fernando Lorente. And I think Murata and Bashwai are going to have a battle for that number one jersey, it, not number one as in goal, but for the number nine to be able to play, to be able to play regularly and to be our first choice striker. It's going to be interesting to see. It gives us that depth. 75 million is a lot of money. It's a big risk. I'm not convinced it's going to pay off, but we'll have to wait and see. Some saying he could be the Torres 
Torres won us the Champions League or helped us win us the Champions League. I'll take that in a heartbeat. But I do think he could be uh, a little bit disappointed. But we will have to wait and see. It looks like it's done. Alvaro Morata to Chelsea for a hefty, huge £75 million fee. Would you goddamn believe it? Maybe the striker crisis at the club is over for now. And hopefully Morata can uh, yeah, prove us all wrong and be a top, top striker. I'll bring you news as and when this deal is officially confirmed. As as... I don't know what to try. I was going to say as as well, but that doesn't really make sense. As well as other Chelsea transfer news and rumours when they break. I don't bring you every single rumour under the sun. I like to bring you ones that are, you know, properly decent friggin' uh, rumours. You know, I don't want to just bring you a random rumour. I mean, to, for example, today we've been linked with Thomas Muller. I don't think it's very likely, so I'm not going to bring you that rumour. The rumours I bring you are ones that, okay, maybe I don't necessarily think 100% they're going to happen, but are, you know, very heavily rumoured and clearly we have an interest. Lukaku, Murata, Alexandro, Bakayoko, they're four players that I've brought you. And all of them we've had serious, serious interest in. Granted, we we look like we're going to miss out on Alexandro. I'll bring you an update on that if and when I feel fit. I did bring out the Boateng one, but that was more to kind of talk about centre-back. Anyway, I'm running off on a tangent. Enjoy the rest of your day. Don't waste any more of your time. Make sure you leave your thoughts down in the comments below on Alvaro Murata. Is he a good fit for Chelsea? Is he a good fit for the system? One thing I do know is Conte likes the guy and uh, Morada likes Conte. That can only be a good thing. A stark difference from Costa not liking Conte and Conte not, li not liking Costa. Finally, it looks like we might have a striker to end this supposed crisis that Chelsea Twitter keeps going on about. Follow me on Twitter at Mr. and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.